The new vessels to be used to transport goods and people between Trinidad and Tobago should be here in about a month. Minister of Works and Transport Rohan Sinanan said the board of the Port Authority was in a meeting up to 11 o'clock last night and they decided which two vessels they would like to bring in. It is now for the paperwork to start. Uh, a week or two weeks we should have all the documents um, sorted out and probably it will take like two weeks after that to have the vessels here. So once we have that vessel here, then we can take the, the vessels and put them into dry dock. Okay. And have them completely overhauled so that we would, you know, uh, meet this problem of this constant uh, breaking down. Yeah. Well, at least that will be one aspect of it. And the minister said the two new vessels will help alleviate the ongoing challenges with transportation between Trinidad and Tobago. The plan going forward is basically to bring in a uh, fast ferry so that we can take these two vessels, send them on dry dock and have a comprehensive overhaul of the two vessels. The two vessels are due for dry dock for a while. The two vessels, once successfully acquired, will be rented for six months and will transport both cargo and persons. The barge and Atlantic provider will be released once this is done. He said while the officials are working to address the issue, it is not one that can be easily solved. So, and, and see, go in, in, in any yard where they rent vessels and you pull it out, it's something that you have to look at to see what is available at that time. And normally vessels take three months, six months to get. This is why immediately the, the port looked around to see what was available because remember this vessel left our shores with very, very short notice. He said in the long term, the plan is to secure a vessel for a further three-year period and ultimately purchase a vessel of our own.